So I really hope my camera stays up because you don't want to see what it's sitting on right now because I'm actually really worried it's going to fall over. So bear with me if it does. But obviously this video is about my new stage wheels. Now I have been partnered with stage for I want to say like over a year, probably like a year and a half. Um, I already have the stage wheels on my Z and now I'm going to put them on my lovely 240 back here. Basically what I have today is these are empty because those are from the Z. Um, but these four boxes are what I'm going to be opening for you guys today. Um, two of them are 18 by 9 plus 12. Yep. And the other ones are 17 by 9 plus 12. And they are in an all new color, which I am so excited to see. My original wheels are all the 18 by 10 plus 15. Um, and those are obviously in white if you've ever seen my car and I actually have them on the rear of the 240 right now But with the alignment that it has they fit just enough, but whenever I Properly align it then it will not fit that big of a size on the rear um, Especially with that offset so I will be putting the smaller sizes on and it will have all the same color um, and then obviously the white ones that are on this car right now are actually the spare ones for the Z. Here are the original wheels I had in an 18 by 10 plus 15. Now this is a 30 mil over. And as you can see, maybe from this angle, hold on, let's move this box. From this angle, I have some camber, some negative camber in the rear. And that's about one and a half in the rear. So whenever that straightens out, um, this 10 inch wheel will not fit flush. So we're gonna go with the nine. And over here, you can see how these fit on my Z. They are perfect. So the, these are all four gonna be 18 by 10 plus 15 in the gloss white Monroe and the front with a one inch spacer. And this is flared, as you can see, like it's rolled. So um, it's actually pretty dang flush. And I believe I have negative three and a half degrees of camber. And in the rear, I don't have a spacer on there right now, but I will be putting one. And this is also um, rolled. Oop, sorry, you can't see. This is also kind of rolled too, as you can see. So it is a little bit sunk. Now I do have a zero camber on the rear. I just need to put a spacer on there and then it will fit. And I know like some of you are thinking like, oh my God, Vanessa, spacers are so bad and spacers are really not good and that's so dumb. You should get wheels that fit. And you know what? I don't care. Okay. Um, I like my wheels and I got the most aggressive and biggest size that they have and not, it's not all the time that they're going to fit. Okay. So we're going to throw a little spacer on there and uh, make sure they're all torqued down so they don't fall off. And I'll, I'll be good. So I'm gonna open this, the new wheels. I'm so stoked to show you them. Okay, so. Um, I probably should have grabbed something to open these boxes before I started the video. Oh, I did, I did, they're right here. about the 17s because I already have 18s. I'm going to open both, but I think I'm going to start, I'll start with the 18s. Stuck in the bottom of the box is the center cap for the wheel. And obviously it comes like this. Holy guacamole! And believe it or not, this is the first time I'm opening these. I've had them for a couple days, so I just haven't taken them out of the boxes. Um, but I have not opened them until right now, so oh my god, dude, I'm. <laughs> 
This is gonna look so beautiful. Holy crap. I hope that doesn't fall. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna bring you up close. Holy crap. <gasps> it's even prettier on camera. Holy guacamole, look how pretty. Guys, I have been waiting literal months for these, okay? I pre-ordered the 17s before the pre-order even went live. And y'all have no idea how happy I am right now. Um, so this is the 18s. And so the funny thing was, is I actually ordered these, I believe in white before they had released that they were going to do this color. And so when they, uh, when I was told that they were going to do 17s, I pre-ordered those in this color and ended up changing my mind and changing this size to this color, obviously, so they would all match. But anyways, um, just to give you a little kind of up close, they are kind of almost like a metallic, I mean, the, the actual name is like matte gunmetal gray, which is very accurate. And you can see the little name is in silver. It's like kind of carved out. And so that is what the wheel looks like. Stunning, guys, holy, holy crap. Those are gonna look so gorgeous on this car. Now, ignore this. I do have a new door for it, and obviously it's typical 240 things. It is gonna get painted. So yes, it's different colors right now. No, it's not done. It's gonna get painted. However, it is, I believe, Actually, you know what? I don't know what color it's going to be. I do, but I don't. It's it's a weird thing. You'll just have to wait and see. But, um, okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the 17s. Actually, you know what? Let me open. Let's, let's just for effect. Let me, okay, this is harder with one hand than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's a color match center cap. So sick. Okay, so... That's cool. Um, either, like, I wouldn't have cared either way, um, like, as far as the color goes. But there is the color matched center cap. Let me pop this in real quick. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Nope, nope, can't do this with one hand. Come on. I don't have the strength. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there you go. There's the color matched center cap. Now, I that's interesting because I was not aware had color match center caps, which I'm pretty excited about. I think that looks really good. Um, I do know that the white ones have a chrome center cap. So this is new, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think it's new that we have color match center caps. And then of course, it also comes with the little valve stem. So, so here's the seven. It's all the same thing. You're not missing anything. Okay. There we go. Wheel. It's bigger than me. Um, I guess I was going to do like a size comparison, which sounds dumb when you say it out loud. Like, can I see the size difference? But they're the same width and they're the same offset. Um, one's just 17 and the other one's 18. And of course, Stage sent me some more stickers and a koozie. And okay, let's go, let's go pick out some tires. All right, someone might make fun of me, but I was a like parts and tire hoarder for the longest because I was like one of those people that was like, oh my god, I need tires, I need tires, I need tires. So um, this is what my backyard looks like currently. <laughs> Five stacks of tires. Some of them are new, some of them are used, as you may be able to tell. But for the most part, I kept, I gave away about 20 different tires that were bad scrubs. But here are the ones that I kept. Obviously, there's a couple that are real old, um, some that are basically brand new. So I'm going to pick out some. Let's see. I don't know. 
which ones do I want on there? I haven't, I literally have not been back here in like four months. I, I stacked all these back here and really, I stacked all these back here and never really came to look at them afterwards. I don't even know what's in here. I know most of them are 235s, but girl, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Hello? So this is, these are some brand new 235s. Do I want to put brand new 235s in there? Or do I want to put some scrubby boys? Hmm? What do we want to do, guys? Mm, I guess if these are scrubs, I'm going to put these scrubs on there. I think that's best. That way I don't use the new ones, right? That makes sense. Our 235, 418. Great. Looking good, Vanessa. Looking good. Okay. Or do I want to put, do I want to put Kendo's on or do I want to put Valino's on? They're both scrubs. Those are more scrubby. The Kenda scrubs, Valino scrubs. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna put those on. Okay. We have arrived to the shop. We got a lot of cars out here. What's up, gay boy? Fucking hate it here. <laughs> Ben's life every day, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> Tubin? Tubin, boy! Tubin. Are you Tubin? Yeah, man. <laughs> Tubin, trying to put a star with him. Ew, gross. Ew. Ew. What's up, Grandma? <laughs> Someone get this child. <laughs> man, these are like scrubby scrubs. They are. But they're going on the 240. That has like maybe 200 horsepower. So are the front or the rear? Rear. Gonna go with this. Let's see. I don't know their reverse mount or not. I've never mounted a stage wheels before. Um, I'm, they're not reverse mount. Good, because all reverse mounts need to go to hell. Yeah. Now it does have the little um, the little like ridges on the edges yeah, to like yeah. hold the tire on, but like that's that's it. It should be pretty normal. Although Harrison said it was horrible to mount these, so we'll see. Well, it depends on what kind of machine you got. Oh, that's true. That's true. You guys Luckily, got... Luckily, this one's pretty, yeah, pretty all right for being from China. Fancy China machine. Fancy China. <laughs> Is there a hood China? Yeah, I'm sure there's a hood China. Probably fun there. Shut up! Sir. Done this a few times. What do you want them? Uh, I don't know, 30? Like 50? Because it's a 240? Yes. 70, <laughs> fuck it, 100. <laughs> there we go. The poppy noise is the best noise. Wow, these are actually pretty nice. I'm going right? to knock in the front. Friggin', look how sick. So nice. Oh my god. All right, we got both of them mounted up. There's one, and I wanted to I want to show you guys what it looks like in the sun. Okay, my shadow's in it, but also I have a terrible camera, so just bear with me. But look at how freaking beautiful it is. So beautiful. God, these wheels are so pretty. Like, <laughs> so pretty. And I am finally back at home after a long day. Um, not that you guys saw my long day, but it's been a bit of a long day. So um, I'm actually not going to mount these on the car today. Um, the car has wheels on it currently, and I these are actually supposed to be the rear wheels, and I'm putting 17s on the front, but I don't have my tires to put the 17s on yet. So when those come in and I get those mounted up, then I'll put the wheels on. And when I do that, I have calipers to install, rotors, drop knuckles, um, hydro lines, lots of stuff. This car is getting the works, okay? So um, if you want to see what they look like on the car, uh, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for future videos that I will post. 
Also, if you want to stay up to date, make sure you hit the notifications button and like the video and comment if you have any questions. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, which is the same as my YouTube. So, um, yeah. Hope to see you guys in the next one.